Crypt. Uh... One, the name is Sets and Proofs. Now, what do we know about these things? Let's start Sets. So what is a seat? A seat is a seat is simply a collection of objects. which are called the elements or members of the set, right? There are a number of ways of describing a set. Sometimes the most convenient way is to, is to make a list of all objects in the set and put curly brackets around the list. For example, you can say we have one, three, five is the set containing or you can say consisting of the objects one three and five you can also write a set of things Fred dog 1.47 you can also write a set like one, set two, so this set. Now this consists of two objects, one being the number one and the other being the set two. Often, however, this is not a convenient way to describe our set. For example, the set consisting of all the people who live in Denmark or Pakistan or India or Malaysia or Sri Lanka or Bangladesh is for most purpose best described by precisely this phrase, the set of all people who live in Pakistan, India or Bangladesh, Malaysia, Sri Lanka. It is unlikely to be useful to describe this set in list form. Now, is another example, the set of all real numbers whose square is less than 2 is neatly described by the notation. So, by the following notation. So, we have a set x such that x is, or even clearly, x uh, a real number. comma x squared is less than 2. So this is a set. The set of all real numbers whose square is less than This is to be read the set of all x such that x is a real number and x squared is less than 2. 
the symbol this symbol is such that likewise similarly we can also write x such that x a real number where and x square minus 2x plus 1 is 0. And this is the state of all the real numbers such that x square minus 2x plus 1 is 0. As a convention, we can define the empty state to be the state consisting of no objects. Empty state, and we use the notation phi state of no objects. More precisely, for the element of the state, we say if S is a state and S small s is an element of the set S, we write This S belongs to the capital S. And, and C S belong to the capital S. And if some other object T does not belong to S, we write if Right. T does not belong to S. Now, for example, One belongs to one, three, five, but two does not belong to one, three, five. If S is a set of all the real numbers, zero is less than x, x is less than one, then one belongs to s, but the element frayed not belongs to s. Similarly, two belongs to the set one comma two the state containing two belongs to this but the element does not belong to the set and one does not belong to phi these two these the two sets are defined to be equal when they consist of exactly the same elements. For example, two sets are defined to be equal. 
when they consist of exactly the same elements for example one three five is equals to one three five or you can say three five one or even one five one three x such that x a real number where x square minus 2x plus 1 is 0 is equal to set 1. Or you can say x such that x a real number where x square plus 1 is 0. The set of female pops are 5. Why it is 5? Because this equation does not have a real solution. We say that a set T is a subset of the set S if every element of T also belongs to S. We say a set T is a subset of a set S if every element of T also belongs to S We write T is subset of S if T is a subset of S and T is not a subset of S, if not. For example, let's say S is a set which contains 1, the set containing 2, and then K. Then, set containing K is a subset of S, the set containing the set which contains 2 is also a subset of S, but 2 is, 2 is not a subset of S, it's a member of S. As another example, the subsets of 1, 2 are Right? Perfect. By convention, phi is a subset of every set. Yeah. Now, this is all we shall need about sets for the time being. 
This topic will be covered somehow more formally in chapter 17. And here we will end this reading of the preface and the small introduction of six. Thank you so much.